Hi, I'm Mike Hanberger with Tricky Fast Studios. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add different CAD components into your scenes in Unity. State machines are the main building block of CAD. There's several ways to create them, so let's start with an empty scene. So there's one way, you can just go and right click on the hierarchy, select CAT, States, and then State Machine, and you've got a State Machine. You can also go through the CAT menu up at the top of the screen under the new States State Machine. Those are the main ways to add a State Machine. Now once you have a State Machine, you're going to want to add some States. So once again, you can go through the CAT menu to States and add a new State that way or through the menu above to states and add a state that way, or in the state machine in the inspector, you can click the gear icon, go to the states menu and add a new one. So now we have a state machine with one state. Let's add an action. Again, you can right click in the hierarchy, go to cat and then there's actions and there's quite a few to choose from under here. You can also use the menu at the top, new action, same list up here. Or you can use the cat selector, which we'll go over in more detail, but you can access that through the little plus button. Over here you have a same selection of cats. So let's just add a movement cat here. We'll add a move action. Maybe you don't want to just add an action. Maybe you want to add a condition. In order to just add a condition anywhere, you're going to need to add a conditional action. That's just a type of action you can add. So we'll come over here and add it. It's under utility and there's conditional action. So you can see it down here. Um, and then if we want to add a condition, we can do that underneath. Again, using the, the plus here. This question mark means conditions. So we can add a condition for whether the object is enabled. And so this is a conditional action. So it needs both a condition and an action. We can just take this move action and put it right under there. So now what we have is this conditional action with an is enabled condition and a move action. So when this conditional action is executed, It'll check whether the object is enabled, and if so, it'll run this move action. Triggers work just about the same way. There's a triggered action. Let's add one of those. Those are also under utility, and there's triggered action. So if we come down here, and underneath the triggered action, we want to add a trigger, which is this icon. And let's add the same thing. We'll add the is enabled trigger. Right? Um, and while we're here, let's also add an action. We'll add a play sound action this time. What you can see here is that when this triggered action is active, it's going to be checking whether the object is enabled. And whenever it is, it's going to play this sound. That's it for the basics of adding CAD components to scenes. I hope you found this video informative and useful. For more information on CAD and how it can help you prototype and build games faster, please visit trickyfast.com slash cat. I'm Mike Hanberger with Tricky Fast Studios. Thanks for watching.